I have another wool blanket I want to share with you today. This was from the American company Ectos. If you're interested in hearing more about it, keep watching. All right, a couple things just before we begin. First, I would like to thank the company Ectos for sending me this blanket so that I could share it with you. And the second is, yes, I am recording from my living room here at home. Reason being is the size of this. This is a queen size blanket that comes in at over seven pounds. So it's just a little big for me to drag out into the woods for a day hike, but I can show you everything about the blanket and talk about my experiences with it so far. So why don't we do that? I will go down to the tabletop. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the company Ectos and then I'll talk about the blanket and of course I'll give you some close-ups and give you my thoughts on it. All right, just before we take a closer look at this blanket, I want to talk about the company Ectos for a moment. So Ectos was started by husband and wife team Jeff and Shawnee, and they are based in Texas. And like most of us, they were looking for wool blankets to add to their preparedness kits. And like most of us, they found there really was only two sources of blankets. They could either buy more affordable secondhand blankets from thrift stores or military surplus, or they could buy brand new 100% virgin wool blankets at a much higher price. So what they did is went looking for blankets that they could resell at a much lower price but price that were still brand new and still had all the quality of a new blanket. So this is the blanket that they sent me and this is an olive color queen size 100% wool blanket. Um, Yes, this is a true queen size, and I say that for a reason, 96 by 90 inches. I've seen other companies advertise their blankets as queen size, and they're not. They're not the full size. This is the larger queen size blanket, and this is what you're looking for if you want to actually go camping in a wool blanket, and we'll talk about that a little bit more in a few moments. Now, here's the thing. This is made from recycled wool, 100% recycled wool, not 100% virgin wool blanket. So what is the difference? Is there a benefit one over the other? Well, the 100% wool blankets or virgin wool blankets, and I have quite a few of those, have the one advantage that they tend to be a little bit more durable. And the reason is, is because their fibers that are woven into the blankets are longer than they would be in recycle. They are brand new fibers. Now, that's the benefit. It's then the durability is not that much more substantial than it would be with recycle. So what about recycled? Well, obviously recycled, made from other wool blankets or wool clothing or any number of things. The fibers do tend to be shorter, um, but there is a distinct advantage in these blankets, these recycled ones. You can wash them. You can wash these in a wash machine, and I've done exactly that. I've washed this one and a couple of others that I've had in wash machines to see how they would turn out. Now, there's another reason for washing we'll talk about in a moment. And they, it has no damage to the blanket whatsoever, whereas if you put a 100% wool blanket in your wash machine, I can almost guarantee it'll be shrunk or matted up. And that's so that's the reason why you'll always see them say, dry clean. Now, the one thing I'll tell you about washing a wool blanket, a, a recycled wool blanket and washing machine is they tend to shed a lot of their material. Not a lot, but there is clumps of the wool that will come loose from your blanket if you wash it in the machine. And uh, yeah, so that's just something to be cautious about. And I say that because you just want to wash it separate from anything else. Actually, a blanket like this, you're not going to get anything else in your machine. And other than that, this will have all the durability of a, any other wool blanket, maybe a little bit less so than 100% virgin wool, but it will have all the functionality of a wool blanket. It still has all the qualities that wool has regardless if it's virgin wool or recycled wool. And I do have another video on wool blankets or blankets in general, which I'll link at the end of this one that talks about those benefits. So what you're not getting in this blanket though is expense. These things are much more affordable. And for the 90% of us who don't, uh, that uh, don't want to pay those high prices, I'll never wear this out. And you know what? At, at the price that these are worth, I'm more likely to use this outdoors where they could get uh, dirty or damaged. Actually, wool is great at staying clean and not gathering smells. That is one of the benefits of wool, recycled or new. Yeah, so the, the benefits are there in this blanket without some of the associated downsides such as cost. Okay, why don't I give you a few close-ups of this blanket and we'll talk about the quality of it. 
All right, let's take a closer look at the blanket. So there's the symbol from Ecto, so that's their symbol on there. And down here is the tag that says 100% wool blanket. And of note, it does say made in India. I'm not sure why other companies want to hide that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the fact that these blankets are made in India. They are recycled material. And what I've discovered in looking at most of these budget blankets are, they're all pretty much all made in India. So there's nothing wrong with buying a blanket made offshore. It's all about the quality that the reseller insists on. And the quality in this blanket is definitely there. So it's a nice olive green material. It has a nice blanket stitch around the edge in burnt orange, quite well done. That prevents any fraying, of course, of the materials. So here's what my thoughts are on the blanket material. Hopefully it's showing up and I've got enough light on this. Is When I first got it, I looked at it and I thought, you know, that, that feels thin. It doesn't feel as thick as some of my uh, some of my other wool blankets. But the more I looked at it, what I realized is it may not have the loft and the airiness of some of the wool blankets, but it is much more dense, much more densely woven. And I think some of that may be due to the fact that it is made from recycled materials or recycled wool, but it I think there's a real benefit to have it that densely woven. I think it's gonna resist dirt much better than some of the other wool blankets will. It still will breathe the way wool does, it will still retain warmth when wet the way wool does, and it will still be just the same quality of any other wool blanket. The fact that it's woven tightly does not hurt it at all. I actually think, as I mentioned, that it's actually a pro in many ways. Okay, so the reason I wanted to show you that is because I have another wool blanket that I want to share with you, then show you the difference between this recycled wool blanket and 100% virgin wool blanket. So this blanket is one of my thrift store finds and this is an older Kenwood blanket and it is 100% uh, pure virgin wool. Look, maybe we can see this. Can you see that this is a little bit thicker a little bit fuzzier looking, if that's the best way to say it. It doesn't have that tight matted look that the other one had. Here's the thing about these wool blankets. Just about every one that you find in a thrift store is going to be something that was intended for home use, hence the satin edging on it. And a lot of the times, that's the type of color you're gonna to have to choose from. I find these light mint green or the salmon kind of reddish pink colors. Not really blankets that you would want to take out into the woods for a couple of reasons. They don't look the part, they don't look traditional, but also that's going to get dirty and it's going to show when it's dirty. But this now, this looks like a woods blanket, something that you would use out in the woods and not mind using at all. And that's the way I feel about this. This is something I would definitely use more than I would this one while I'm out in the woods. This will still function. This just more looks the part. Maybe that's the best way to say it. All right, a couple of things before we wrap this video up. I had mentioned earlier that I had washed this in my washing machine at home. So I just want to expand on that up for a moment. So I put this in the washing machine. I did wash it on cold water. I did a double rinse with my machine and then I hung it outside to dry. So I didn't put it in a dryer and I didn't use hot water. I guess both of those things help uh, maintain the longevity of the blanket and help to ensure that you're not gonna shrink it. But my understanding is with this recycled material, this recycled wool, it's not likely to shrink anyway. And that's the reason why they can say, wash your blanket in the, in a washing machine and feel safe about it. Now, there was another reason that I washed it, and that is because as a recycled wool blanket, I don't know how they do it, but I believe they add lanolin back in. Lanolin is the natural oils that sheep excrete from their bodies to keep them waterproof virtually. Um, it has a smell. It has a, quite a strong smell. When you first receive your blanket, you may notice quite a strong smell. Some people don't find it offensive. Some people find it quite offensive. I'm somewhere in between. It's a smell that you kind of get used to, but it can be really quite strong when you first get it. That's the reason I washed the blanket and it went a long ways to getting rid of the smell. There's still a bit of a smell on it, but now let's put this back into perspective. This is intended for outdoor use. So the smell really isn't an issue for me. Okay, so the other thing I want to talk about is actually using this wool blanket. You can see that I have draped it over my shoulders and I can tell you now this is completely doubled, completely doubled. So that's a double layer of the wool it still comes down to just above my ankles, well, almost, somewhere between my knees and my ankles. 
This is a big blanket. A queen size blanket is huge. And I mentioned earlier that you may want to consider a queen size blanket if you actually want to use it as part of a sleep system. Most people don't use them that way. What they use them for, and honestly, what I use them for most of the time is on top of a sleeping bag or wrapping up next to the fire uh, because of course they are resistant to sparks and burning unlike synthetics would be, but not so much for a full complete system in and of itself. So anybody who has slept in a wool blanket knows that really it's not a cold weather item. Despite what you might think, sleeping in a wool blanket in the middle of winter is not a very realistic thing to do unless you have a huge fire that you can lay next to. Then you're really going to want wool to kind of for the protection that it offers. An extra large blanket like a, a queen or even a king provides you the opportunity to fully wrap up in them, which you can't do with the smaller wool blankets. You can literally go corner to corner, bring one of the corners up over your feet, create a toe box, either pin it together or not, and then wrap over the sides or the other side uh, corners over like wings and create a cocoon that you completely enclose in. Hard to do with a smaller blanket. You can kind of wrap it around you, lay it, but you're more practically lay it over top of you. So I just wanted to point that out that there is real benefit to owning a queen size blanket if you're looking to use this as a sleep system. And I'm going to say in shoulder seasons, maybe spring, fall, and maybe summer to some degrees. But uh, actually, I think probably be a little warm for the summertime but you may decide you want to keep it for that reason. The other thing is, these are heavy, 7.3 pounds for this queen size blanket, and quite big and bulky as well. So it's not something I'm going to take out into the woods unless I really have a need to. Likely not something I'm going to hike around with. I might, but you know what I'm using this for? Car camping. Honestly, this is where this is going to be used is car camping. I may sleep out next to a fire. I'll certainly wrap up to it next to a fire the way I'm doing here. I have been using it around the house, kind of wrapping up the way it like this so that I can sit and watch uh, television at night or, or um, uh, you know, maybe throw it over the bed as an extra warmth on a, on a cold night. And I've done that. Another nice thing about a wool blanket like this is the weight. You lay this across your bed, I can almost guarantee if as long as it's cool in your room that you're going to have a better sleep because the weight of this just makes it that much more snug when you're in the bed. Okay, I think that's enough rambling about wool blankets in general and about the quality blankets from Ectos. So what I want to do is provide you the link to Ectos where this blanket comes from. Take a look at all the other ones you have. Again, these are a budget blanket that has all the quality of a brand new blanket but at a much better price. All right, if you have any questions or comments regarding this blanket or any comments about wool blankets in general, please put them in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.